even though I still feel drained from the weekend in the zombie dungeon. I go back to classes and work Monday. It's honestly a bit relaxing compared to the tension of surviving in a zombie apocalypse. The food tastes good, the girls on campus are cute, and no one is trying to kill me and eat my brains. Towards the end of October, Lillian messages me to visit her in her office. I'm a little nervous about the visit since I haven't spoken to her since we had that great hug. So, I make sure I've showered and I'm wearing my best jeans, the ones that make my butt look really good. When I call up the port system and connect to Lillian's office, I spray some cologne, then open the green door connecting our home bases. I walk into her office and find her sitting at her desk, typing away on her computer. She's wearing a long-sleeved striped dress shirt, and her hair is tied back in a ponytail. She has on her business face. Lillian glances at me and waves to a seat in front of her desk. I take the seat she gestures towards and wait while she finishes working. When she finishes typing, the serious expression on her face is replaced with the beautiful smile I've come to expect, and she greets me. Hey, Anthony. Sorry for making you wait. It's the end of the month and I have to get a bunch of paperwork and accounts payable situated. The statement reminds me that Lillian isn't just another pretty face, but a smart, intelligent woman running her own business. I try to smile at her back, but I'm suddenly slightly nervous. It's cool. I just finished a shift at work when I got your text. She raises an eyebrow as she looks me up and down. You always work at the convenience store in a dress shirt and jeans? Her nose twitches as she breathes in. She coughs once, and she waves a hand in front of her nose. And do you normally wear that much cologne? I give myself a quick sniff. I don't think I put on that much cologne, did I? It was only five or six spritzes. Feeling a bit of heat on my cheeks, I shrug and give her a lopsided grin. Huh, I just wanted to look professional for you. A blue screen opens in front of Lillian, and she taps a few buttons. There's a flash of light, and a ceiling fan appears above us and starts to spin. I can feel a nice breeze and see Lillian breathe a literal sigh of relief. Well, thanks for trying. The reason I called you in is to ask you to go out with me. They say when you're in a stressful situation, your body either goes into a fight or flight response. Well, my body chooses option three, freeze and surprise. While I'd been thinking about what it would be like to date Lillian lately, I'd never thought she'd be the one to ask me out. There's a mischievous smile on Lillian's face as she continues, Now, before you get too many odd ideas, this is purely business. The company was invited to a big Halloween party and I need a date. The biggest dungeon clearing companies will be there and it's a good opportunity to network. John's busy with his own thing and I can't show up alone. Oh, so this is just a work thing? I think I see a flash of something in her eyes, but she just nods in confirmation. Okay, I'll go with you. It'll be a good chance for me to meet more users. Lillian gives me the details of the event. In two days, I'm supposed to meet her here at her office, and then we'll port to the party.